Let's uh let's 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 get over to the ladies. Talk a little bit of WNBA. Uh, the new season is here. I know you were you were at a game uh, already this season. I haven't been able to get to a, a Liberty game yet this season, but I'm going to go um, to to support the ladies. Um, they're not doing too good to start the season, though. I'm I'm a little little hurt by that. Because yeah, Liberty aren't doing too well right now. They're kind of figuring things out. They just signed Crystal Dangerfield um, to a hardship contract too. It's like it's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. We just brought back Asia Durr. They ended up releasing Jasmine Jones, which really broke my heart because I was such a huge Jasmine Jones fan. So shout out number four, <laughs> rocking number four. Um, but you know, I think they're gonna figure things out. They usually like to get hot though in the middle of the season mm-hmm. and continue on that streak straight through into the playoffs. So again, we went into the first round of the playoffs this past year. Hopefully, we'll have an opportunity of again qualifying for the playoffs, getting into the playoffs, and furthering that this coming year. But we'll see. Now, what we'll if they, see. What if they what if they called you out of retirement and said, "Shanae, we got a spot on the roster. I know you're coaching right now. But we could use you. Would you go back?" First of all, there's way too many girls that have been cut over the last, like, four weeks that are, like, in the best shape of their lives and still need a contract, a.k.a. we need a WNBA expansion, right? <laughs> but, um, but no, that, that, that's just simply well, they not say possible. That, they, say that, they say the jump shot is the last thing to go, right? So if you Anthony, jump there's too the- many amazing, young, great, talented girls that have been cut. Literally, because there's just not enough slots on on these teams. So, no, no, I know, I know. Expansion is really the next the next step. Which um, the commissioner actually said that that is going to be happening. Okay. Um, so we're just kind of patiently waiting to find out what cities they're going to be popping out in. Well, it's got. I, I would assume it's going to be one of the major cities because they need they need to be in the big market for the ladies. No, agreed, agreed. So hopefully they get you know one thing I one thing I, you know I notice about the WNBA is that a lot of the ladies don't start the season with the team because they're still playing overseas and I guess they kind of run you know simultaneously so you'll find a lot of the ladies miss like maybe like the first two three weeks of the season because they're still under contract overseas and then they'll come over I guess one the probably the biggest name. Would be uh, uh Kalia C- uh, Copper. She just the Finals MVP from a year ago. She just got back and um joined the Chicago the the, the 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 world champion WNBA champion Chicago Sky. She rejoined the team. Um, yeah. Do, do, do you know as a as a coach, would you have a problem with that? Just you know, then with them missing like the first couple of weeks of the season and then coming in. Absolutely not. But you know what? It's interesting. There actually was a coach still. She's still coaching the WBA that had a problem with one of her players playing um, three on three USA basketball and then returning back and actually not really getting a lot of minutes on the court, which was kind of like. Yeah, but that's dumb. That's dumb, though. Why would you. A little. I, I don't know. I mean, if she can help you. It's work, a little it's you... a little strange to me. I'm not a professional. I, I'm not a I'm not a coach on the professional level. Right. I can yeah. say I coach to the college level but um it, it it doesn't necessarily make sense to me because if you can play you can play yeah, right yeah. and so again um we're almost like mama's waiting yeah, like it's weird. come on home once you get home let's get it going the one thing i know is that you're probably gonna be in pretty decent shape or you're still gonna have to work on recovering um from like again having such a long long season it just sucks anthony that you know our our women have to do these things Right. Like we have to be able to try to find an opportunity for our women to be able to receive a respectable salary to stay here in the United States, as opposed to having to go to Russia or to go to China or to go to Europe or, you know, where, wherever you're going. And again, um, I definitely want to give a big shout out to Brittany Griner and, um, you know, Free BG, because I think that's again a great example of why we need to try to find a way to keep our women here. Yeah. Right. Um, and so again, it's, it's such a challenge and it's such a, another hoop to jump through when you actually get into major 
um, infractions in other countries, right? It's not America. And so, you know, I just hope, I just really hope that we get to the the point. And again, I've seen so much happen over the last, <laughs> so crazy over the last 25 years, but I'm really looking forward to what another 25 has to give. Cause um, you know, God willing, if I ever have a daughter, I want my daughter to be able to see playing as a real opportunity, right. To have a real career. Whereas for myself being a eighties baby and, Growing up, right when, you know, the WNBA had first started, you knew that being a school teacher, you actually got paid more money than playing in the WNBA. Yeah. So it was almost like, well, why would I play in the WNBA if I'm actually not receiving any sort of respectable pay for it? Um, and so, again, as we continue to grow more and more representation and more and more support, it's looking like we're moving into a, a better space, definitely a better space with the latest um, collective um, bargaining agreement um, than before. But again, we just have so much more, so much more work to do. What's the, do you know the difference between, let's say, we'll use Brittany Griner as an example since we're speaking about her, and what she gets paid to play in the WNBA as opposed to what she would be getting overseas playing? Well, we can use Diana Tarazi. She is the uh, epitome of the example, right? She took the million dollars from playing overseas and actually took a year off, took a year break from the WNBA. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. Wow. Yeah. So there's just a lot. That's, that's, that's huge. When you have who we consider, right, the GOAT yeah. for women's basketball, right, to take a complete year off and say, you know what, I'm this good. just ain't worth it. Right. I think that that is, is a little scary. And so, again, there's been a lot of strategy, it looks like, behind the scenes um, with the, the WNBA and the NBA to find a way on how to better support. But, again, a lot of it starts with, you know, some of the easiest things like become a season ticket holder, right? Support your local WNBA team. Um, if you have an opportunity to budget things out, right, if you have that that autonomy to do such, budget out an opportunity to bring your staff to a WNBA game, Right buy a couple of shirts, buy some beverages and food. There's ways of being able to support monetarily, right? Yeah. And then, of course, simple things, right? If you can't support monetarily, which, again, my parents, you know this already, Anthony, we was too poor back then yeah. to buy tickets to sporting events. It just, well, yeah. it just didn't happen. If we got it for free through, like, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, whatever, that was amazing. If we got it free through school, that was amazing. But our parents, our families, we could not afford that as kids. So, being able to then just spread the word, right? I'm really active on social media when it comes to that because I think it's so important <laughs> that we're continuing to push the agenda. God bless you. I think it's so important that we continue to push the agenda. But again, representation matters, right? So there's a reason why in our basketball workouts, we, we use WNBA basketballs, right? There's a reason why I go so hard for my sponsors and funders to be able to purchase tickets for my young girls, right? My tribe. Um, the sisterhood of Grow Our Game to go to WNBA games. It means so much to them and so much to the communities that they're from, right? So we have to just continue pushing that um, narrative yeah. as we go along because uh, it, it, without it, it's, it's just, it, it's kind of like a lost cause, right? So we have to continue pushing the narrative. And thank you, Anthony, for even bringing up the W because again, even in these sports forums, you'd be surprised how many times they don't, bring up anything yeah, around the women. So thanks we, for that. We, we all, we've, we've always supported the ladies. Uh, we've had teaspoon on the show before we have, we've had Kim Hampton on the show before. Uh, we've had a couple, we have we had a couple of, um, you know, overseas, uh, shout out to Nikki Avery. Uh, <laughs> she, she, yeah, she's been on the show. She was actually on the show t uh, two weeks ago. She's back, just back from playing over in Poland. So, you know, we, we always try to support the ladies, um, you know, whenever whenever we can, especially during during this during the season. Um, but the one thing we, you know, and you brought up Brittany Griner, we've been talking about Brittany Griner a lot, uh, the past couple of weeks. Um, I mean, and it, and it really sucks just because, you know, I get it. Obviously, the laws aren't the same. You know, things you might be able to do in the United States, you can't do in these in these other countries. But I mean, for just you know, for 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 having some some vape oils and and, and whatnot, it's just like, come on, man, 
you know, I, it, it's it's a lot going on, and I get it. It's a, a worst possible situation at the worst possible time, just because of the war and everything that's going on right now in Russia. So I do understand that. I am very happy though that Adam Silver and the NBA are trying to to help the WNBA and and to to bring Brittany Griner home. I know the United States is getting involved now as well. Um, but this, but there's a lot of there's a lot of issues. She, you know, and at the end of the day, and I don't because, and I had we had we had somebody comment on our YouTube page because you know we, because I I feel for Brittany Griner. Well, I don't I don't wish jail on nobody. You know what I mean? It's a sucky situation. Yeah, and she got in trouble. I don't even know why she had it with her. Right? Nobody really knows the story. We'll find out the story yeah. probably from Ann Roberts when she comes out. Finally, and is released because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of yeah. <laughs> a publicity and like, you know, interest in wanting to take on the story. But I think that, again, it's a sucky situation regardless. And to know that it happened outside of our country, we already know that <laughs> jail is like 50 million times worse in other countries than ours. Right. Um, and so not to, to make light of it, because there's nothing light about being locked in prison, it's given a lot of spotlight, right, on the situation. And if anything, it's just like a reminder for folks to like try your best to like just do the right thing. Like if you're like just, you know, I don't know. They said it was like hashish oil. I, I don't even know. I don't know if it was a vape. I don't I don't even know. So because it wasn't very clear. Yeah, and my thing would be this, right? Because I don't know anything. Obviously, you know, we only get the information that's given to us, right? But let's just let's say this. Let's say what if what if Brittany Griner has has a a a medical card, and she uses that for medical purposes, and now it, she's being thrown in jail for something that's actually prescribed to her. And I don't know if that's the case. I'm just saying, what if? But that's the who case? knows what's the rules in Russia for that? Yeah, right. Because know. again. Not every rule is the same in every country. Exactly. How about every state, yeah. right? We're here in the United States of America, but there's yeah. rules that are like suppressing votes in certain countries that are, you know, and not countries, sorry, in certain states that are yes. like not suppressing and others. It's it's, it's, it's a bit of a mess. But now, now here's, here's the kicker though is, you know, it's already, you know, that's the, you, you, you at your lowest of lows being, being locked away in jail. But when you're talking about being away, locked in jail in a foreign country, where well, that's not your first language, I, you know, I feel for Brittany Griner because that's got to be hard to not be able to communicate, you know, with people. You can't really communicate with the guards. You don't know if other inmates are, 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 are plotting on you or anything. You, you don't. You just don't know. And we don't know because we haven't been getting any notifications of how she's doing. We didn't find out she was even arrested until weeks after she'd been locked up. Which is you know, which is crazy, and then since then we haven't. I haven't heard anyone say, "Oh, well, I spoke to Brittany this week. She says she's in high spirits." Blah blah. blah. I haven't heard any of that. So we really don't know what is going on. You know, God forbid. You know, and I don't. I hate to go worst case scenario, but anything is possible. They could be doing anything to Brittany Griner right now because you know the other issue. You know, there's also in an LGBTQ issue where you know. Every every country around the world does not feel the same way about about the about the LGBT com community the way the United States does. So there's also that issue on top of everything else. Yeah, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's overwhelming. Even all that that you were just saying because it's just I can't imagine it being me. You know what I mean? I can't imagine it. It would it would be really hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is why, again, you know. Even since we were young, like I've always been a square. <laughs> I've always been a square because I'm just scared. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to this. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get a butt whooping. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get a butt whooping. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get a butt whooping from my dad. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. So you we, remember, we actually so. had, we had someone comment on you know because we posted a clip. Um, I had a clip with Nikki Avery and myself. We were talking about it. And the guy and and we were you know we were just kind of we felt for Brittany Griner in that situation, and the guy was like, well, just let's don't act like she didn't break the law, 
It's like, yeah, we get it. She broke the law in Russia. I mean, now, granted, if she was arrested for murder or something like that, that's different. But if we just we don't, just don't know. We don't know the situation, yeah. y'all. So it's it's easy to judge if you don't know the situation. But we literally do not know the situation. So until we get way more information from her mouth yes. about what happened, we're never really gonna know. So exactly. I don't want to judge anyone. I don't want to like. I'm just, I'm hoping for the best for her. I'm hoping that she'll return back. You know, it's, it's a really terrible situation. Yeah. And I think that again, that's almost any Americans fear when you leave out of the United yes. States. Yes. And Whenever you travel, you're always concerned and worried about, Oh, what if this happens? What if I get arrested? What's going to happen if they throw me in jail? Listen, especially, Literally. Especially as black people. We definitely, those are definitely, I mean, those are issues that we still deal with here, but outside of the country and you don't speak the language, that is 10 times worse than you could ever imagine. So, you know, I just, listen, God bless Brittany Griner. I hope she's doing well. Um, I hope things can get worked out for our situation and, and they can figure out some type of release. You know, the only thing, you know, close to this one, which is crazy because recently would be the, uh, the Leangelo Ball situation when they were arrested over in China, uh, when they were still playing at uh, UCLA, and you know uh, Donald Trump was actually able to make some things happen, you know, but we also weren't at war. Well, China wasn't wasn't at war during that time, so that kind of makes things a little bit different. Obviously, in this situation, we know what's going on over in Russia right now. So again, you know, she has my prayers. I, I hope that some, something can be worked out. Um, you know, it's crazy because because she probably she would actually be. Probably coming home around this time, getting ready to play in the WNBA season, like one of the other you know ladies that have that came over late to start the season. So prayers up for Brittany Grant. I hope she's doing well. Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real. 